front of us, we have a cylindrical object covered in paper and tape. This in the ant world only means one thing. Yes, you guys guessed it. If you've been here, a part of the Ants America Ant channel for a long time, you will easily be able to tell what is in this paper. And I can't wait to show you guys and teach you about this brand new queen during the rest of the video. Stay tuned to the very end to learn awesome things and our plans with the queen and the colony. So, let's get right into it. Here we have our queen. She is an awesome queen ant that I caught outside during nuptial flights about three to four weeks ago. Three weeks ago, when I did catch this queen, I was um, going out on a run, and I was very lucky, actually, to see her while I was doing my warm-up routine. And when I saw her down there, I ran inside to go grab a quick container or a test tube or something to grab her and put her in. And lo and behold, here she is, a beautiful ant queen. She's a cool species that I've been wanting to keep due to their fast growth and decent size. I wouldn't say they're big ants, but they're definitely not mini ants like Monomoria Minimum or any other colonies like around the same size. So I've been always wanting to keep an ant of this type because they're just so cool. So let's show you guys her. So after I caught the queen, I put her in a test tube setup and wrapped her in this paper right here with the tape around it to keep it shut. Then I put her inside of a shoe box, put that shoe box inside of a closet and closed the closet and let her alone for up to three to four weeks. So the reason why I did this is because unlike bull ants or trap jaw ants, this queen here is claustral. Unlike bull ants or trap jaw ants, which are semi-claustral queens, this queen here is a fully claustral queen. She does not have to eat at all for laying her first eggs and during the lifespan of her first nanitic workers. Once they arrive, then you will have to feed the queen. So. I haven't looked at her since I caught her, meaning I don't know if there's actually going to be any eggs or if she's still even alive. That's why I'm really excited and nervous right now, guys, and I'm happy you guys are here to witness this with me. So let's get right to it. I know you guys are eager to see our brand new queen. Removing the tape ever so slightly, don't want to disturb her. She could be uh, tending to the eggs right now, if there are any. I'm hoping there's at least eggs, maybe even some larvae and some brood. Oh my gosh, no way guys, there's so much stuff in there. I see eggs, larvae, and brood. Let me give you guys a closer look. There we go guys, now you guys have an awesome view of the queen. And look at her, isn't she beautiful? This queen here is a Tetramorium SP, also known as the North American Pavement Ant. Now, with our awesome 4K camera, you can see under her the larva, eggs, and even some brood. Isn't that awesome, guys? She's led some brood. I'm so excited that this queen is doing really well, and I actually am going to give her her first meal sometime soon. I'll put a link in the description of that video of the queen getting her first meal once it is made. So stay tuned for that, guys. It's going to be awesome. Take a look at her. Isn't she just beautiful? Currently, she's just tending to her eggs, brood, and larvae, laying on them, protecting them from the outdoor, because I just opened her up to light, so she's a little nervous right now, and I'm also shining a light on her to get you guys better view of her. So she's probably a little bit scared. Alright, so let me go through with you guys the different steps of getting your queen to lay eggs, hopefully having them generate to larvae, and then into brood before reaching the first nanitic workers of your ant colony. Step 1. This is catching your queen. Catching your queen is easily achievable if you watch the Ants America nuptial flight guide, which will tell you exactly when certain types of ants are flying. This will also allow you to know when and what time to go outside to look for your ants, so you can get your best chance of getting a queen ant. After doing this, you will move into step number two. Step number two is putting your queen in a test tube setup. Let's show you guys what that is. This here is a test tube setup. This consists of, at the top, a cotton blocker so your queen can't get out, and at the bottom, a cotton with a water reservoir, allowing her to get humidity and water whenever she needs it for her and her larvae. And then, when they eclose, her nanitic workers. So, this will result in her having the perfect optimal temperature and the best supply of water to lay her first eggs, and she'll be very comfortable in there. 
Once again, unless you are keeping bull ants, trap jaw ants, or a few other species, you will not need to feed your queens during their first set of workers. They will just ignore it and they won't actually eat it. They won't use it until the first workers come out, which are also called ninitics. That's why I've been saying it earlier in the video. So don't try to feed her. Just put her in a dark spot and let her make her eggs. That's pretty much all you have to do. So, step number three is pretty much what I just said. You gotta keep her in a dark spot and just let her go for her first month of laying eggs. So basically after a month, you're gonna wanna give her a snack, give her some more energy. Hopefully she can feed her larva if you have it with that energy you give her. Like give her some raw honey or a little piece of ham or just some, some protein or sweet just to give her a quick boost of energy. She'll like that a lot. Step number four, you're gonna wanna take your queen after her first workers are laid and you're gonna wanna keep them in the test tube until you have 10 to 15 workers. After getting your 10 to 15 workers, you're going to want to move them into a real formicarium and that's when the big colony starts. So guys, that was a little quick tutorial I gave you on getting your queen ant to be successful in laying eggs and beginning a colony. And those steps should be followed and will be shown on screen and in the description. So, this has been a video of Ants America showing you our brand new Tetramorium ant queen.